So in today's video I would like to show you how I set up my home office for teleradiology and this is in the light of the corona crisis where a lot of radiology departments, hospitals etc are considering sending their employees home to do teleradiology from home. And you don't need to have all this uh, professional equipment and I will show you what exactly I am using for uh, quite some time right now and um, which components are essential and what basically is just uh, pointless to have at home. And as you can see, working from home has other uh, possibilities as well. As you can see here, I'm carrying my baby boy here with me um, and it's really nice to be home. Uh, should my current employee, employer uh, watch this video at the time, I'm not working. So this is my standing desk. As you can see, I have this one uh, for some weeks now and it's very much an improvement from my previous desk, which was just like a standard desk. But uh, eventually you will not have such a desk at home. Um, especially not if you're just organizing your home office right now in this whole crisis. But if you can, get a standing desk because it's so much better to stand uh, during reporting than just sitting or having the opportunity to do both. So uh, let's start off with the monitors. As you can see here, this one is quite a big one. It's a 34 inch 21 by 9 format monitor. It's not the diagnostic monitor, the diagnostic monitor is this tiny one here. It's a Totoku monitor, 2 megapixels, and it's fine and also calibrated for Tycom images, chest x-ray, radiographs, CT and MR. Uh, I don't do mammography, so that's uh, why I don't need a better monitor than that. Basically, if you would only look at MR or CT images, even just like a normal standard monitor for a few hundred bucks would be sufficient because the technical values are more or less similar between the two monitors. I have a laptop here next to me just because with uh, certain clients with the VPN connection I don't have internet access on my normal computer. That's when I want to look up something. Um, I have a laptop here available. That's already already a, a very a good thing also for email etc. I don't have to thing around with the, with the main computer there. The PC itself, it's a, a normal PC, it's a little bit more fancy than maybe the normal office PC because it has a stronger graphics card, but not because it's required to do radiology, but it's because of my hobby. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of a nerd. So that's the normal PC. And moving on to the equipment here, you can see it because I'm a little bit nerdy, I have a very fancy keyboard and a fancy mouse. Normal mouse pad. And to report, I don't use these dictaphones. Basically, it's pointless to have something like this at home because you're in a quiet environment anyways. And don't buy one of these because they are like a few hundred bucks. It's pointless. It's sufficient if you have like a $25 or pound or whatever. Um, headset like this one here it's a very good one um, because you don't have people interrupting you and if you're having the headset on and the microphone is always on basically you have both hands free you can have one hand on the keyboard to do all the shortcuts in your packs if you have any and the other hand uh, the other hand on the mouse where you can move move it around and uh, yeah just having a look at the images just a quick thank you to Virin, who is my newest patron. Hi there, thank you very much for your support. And if you want to know more about Patreon and how you can support this channel, go check the link down below. Obviously from time to time you need to have some more information. I have here uh, my book. Obviously I don't need this to report, I just wanted to show you here if you haven't bought it or read it already, go check Amazon. And then I have my very smart book where I have some um, relevant information like special diseases that I have seen or some classifications etc where I can look up here. Now I'd like to talk about some soft factors that are not really hardwired and this is lightning and you can see I have this lamp here in the back of the monitor which gives like an ambilight so for those of you who know the old or even the new Philips TVs they have this ambilight it's quite good for the eye it reduces the eye strain therefore I have this lamp behind my monitor because working in the dark completely, let's switch this off. It's, it's really dark and not a lot of fun, obviously. 
Also, uh, you don't want to have too much light because then you have all the reflections and you don't really see the stuff on the monitors, especially in uh, the radiographs. Obviously, you need to have some uh, blinds to protect from the daylight or sunlight if you have uh, have that. I'm in the UK, we don't have a lot of sunlight. And uh, yeah, that's basically it. Just one last thing, if you have like a monitor like I have here, just make the background black because then you don't have a lot of light coming into your eyes. So that's also another tip that I can give you here. If you want to know exactly what I'm using monitor wise or even the headset etc. I will put this all in the description down below so go check it there. And with that I'd like to close. Stay safe and see you next time.